Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Viking Season 6, Episode 13. I'm not really going to talk a lot before this episode because I just freshly finished Episode 12, so I do want to get into 13. Basically, summarizing my thoughts from last episode, like the main things I'm thinking about is one, how is Ivar so careless, so stupid to not realize that that's Katya posing as Freitas in order to manipulate him and get information for Oleg, right? How, how is he not seeing that? I guess he's just like dumbfounded that this girl looks exactly like him or her. And why, why does she look like her? Is that just a coincidence? Is that ever gonna be explained? That's a question I have. Are we just supposed to like defy or, or suspend, I should say? Uh, like realistic thoughts because that that's like a one in a million chance that Ivar comes into contact with a reincarnated Freitas right in front of his eyes and what does that Freitas do she manipulates him and uses her looks to get information from Ivar and she got it she knows now that Deer is in cahoots with Ivar and Oleg I'm um, not Oleg Igor and the plan is to take Igor out and whisk him away when the signal happens so, she's aware of this plan now, which which kind of sucks, because she's obviously going to tell Oleg, and Oleg is obviously going to have a very huge reaction to it. How could he not? He's a psychopath. So we saw what he did last episode with making Igor kill the last people that he had in that lineup of people that he um, just massacred, he slaughtered. So, even Ivar was taken aback by that. He was like, well, man, like, chill out. It's not that serious. It's never that serious. So, Bjorn, the throne is up for grabs. Gunhild and, and Ingrid are both battling for it. But Ingrid said that the only reason she's doing it is because she's pregnant with Bjorn's baby. And Gunhild brought up a really interesting point that I actually did not talk about at the end of the last episode that I'm just remembering now. Harold also raped Ingrid. So she could very well be pregnant with Harold's baby, which complicates this whole thing because if that is not Bjorn's baby, like that's not the successor. There's no valid claim there. And then Harold, well, I guess Harold was technically the king. But, um, well, t I, well, Harold is the king of all Norway, right? So I guess, would it really matter? I guess that that is a big distinction because if it's Harold's kid, then that kid has the is the um heir to the throne of all Norway if it's Bjorn's kid then it's a lesser title but it's still a title so I guess that changes things um but Gunhild couldn't have any kids she miscarried so I think that that Eric guy is going to end up choosing Ingrid and they are both as a duo gonna pose a problem to Gunhild because poor Gunhild she's just mourning the death of her her husband who brought in another wife, you know, very similar parallel stories to Ragnar, and I guess it was just the culture during this time. I remember you guys saying that when I was so upset that Auslog got brought into the picture after Ragnar and Lagatha were so great together. But I guess it's a very, very similar situation because Lagatha couldn't have um, any more of Ragnar's children, just like Gunhild can't have, or couldn't have Bjorn's. So very eerily similar stories now that I'm thinking about it. So I guess he had to do what he had to do, but I'm on I'm on Gunhild's side right now. Like I want her to rule. I think that she's more capable of ruling. She has more experience. She's a warrior. She's badass. I've never had a complaint about Gunhild. I don't think anybody really can complain about her as a character. She's she's great. But um, yeah, so we'll have to see what happens there. Still haven't seen Floki. That's all I have to say about that storyline. So. Maybe this episode we'll get to see him. I, I don't think we're seeing him for a while, honestly. If there's 10 episodes in this season, I don't think we're seeing Floki till maybe episode 7 or 8. So, I don't know though. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going to shout out, get into the episode. So, without further ado, let's get into episode 13. Everyone has been asking me today, what do you want? Well, I want access to Prince Eagle and Prince Oleg. What do you want to talk to Igor about? There are things he ought to know. Important things. I'm not sure he knows. You don't trust me, Ivor. You are my brother. My own flesh and blood. What in Odin's name does all it mean to you, huh? What do you huh? Sad poor Ivor! Oh my 
god. No way. I actually agreed with Ivar. The brothers. Ooh. Oh. Ragnar would be rolling in his grave if he knew this was happening. Just all the brothers fighting, killing each other. No. <gasps> Holy shit. I thought he was actually gonna do it. This is just what he wants. Ugh. It's working out perfectly for them. So stupid. They're so naive. <gasps> oh, I just got chills. Oh. That's so awesome. That's crazy. We saw Ragnar. I'm content. That's all I needed. Just a little tear. You were a staunch supporter of my husband. Who do you mean to support in this election? Here we go, man. He's gonna choose Ingrid. Frankly and honestly, I've not yet made up my mind. I will decide in due course, having weighed everything up, knowing the debt I owe to Bjorn, and make the right decision. I think Gunhild would be a great ruler. I mean, even if Ingrid was the actual ruler and she just used Gunhild as her advisor, I don't know if Gunhild would actually do that, but... Aw. Uh, that compass thing just made me think of Ragnar. I remember when he first used that, and I think it was Rolo that was so amazed by it. I was suspicious. I saw betrayal everywhere. He looks scary. I neglected you. My darling wife interceded on your behalf. She said I was so cruel. Your brother, Pizzer, wasn't always so kind. I believe that he loves and hates you in equal measure. If you like, I will have him killed. No, he won't do that. Or maybe he will. Yeah. If anyone kills him, it should be me. My brother's privilege. Oh, just sucks that Vitzer can't just come around to Ivar, because they would be a great duo, a very strong duo, and, and necessary in taking Oleg down. Like, it would be great just to have Vitzer on Ivar's side, maybe keeping, keeping him grounded. Have them both keeping each other grounded. It's unfortunate. Does she really have to cut it so friggin' deep? That is very intense. Who the hell is watching? Gunhill? Who is that? Oh, Eric? I cannot even imagine being on a boat like that during a huge storm on the open water. Because they don't have life jackets. They don't have anything like that. If they capsize, they capsize. Oh my god. See, that terrifies me. That scares the shit out of me. I don't know how people do that currently. Used to do that in, in boats like that. I do not know. No way. No way. Prince Darius Hurley. And he didn't tell her that that was the signal. I don't know how she would have gotten whiff of that. I don't know. I'm still... I'm still... sussed out by her. He doesn't love you. He despises you. Well, you're just saying that I ever... Shut up and listen to me. I met him yesterday. He asked me if I wanted to have you killed. I could have said yes. I would have never said yes. Too In any case, I need you. Somehow we have to spirit Prince Igor out of here and join with Prince Dear's army in Novgorod. 
Since it's my fate to kill you, it makes sense for me to stay with you, I suppose. The Patriarch is sending the first Metropolitan Bishop to Kiev to celebrate Easter. Everyone wants to watch this. Bishop Leon and his acolytes dragged across to the cathedral. When does the bishop arrive? Tomorrow. <laughs> and the ceremony is the day after. That's convenient. Okay, so he's coming around, Bitzer. Maybe this could work. Oh my god. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if Shettle's boat tipped over. It's just a storm, it will pass. Believe me, it will pass. That is scary. thing in God of War. A serpent. That's crazy. Where'd she go? Where the hell did she go? No way. That's so sad. And that was the last thing she, the kid seed, bef seed, saw before she died. Oh God. Were those Rus Vikings that came in and infiltrated already? They said they weren't, but. What is it? Who? Who's back? Tell me which. Have we seen him before? If so, I do not remember him at all. I'm very sorry <gasps> to interrupt this election. Yikes. My name is Harald, but my people call me King Finer. I have a new ally. His name is Scotty. I've come to rescue you all. He's gonna run? For King? Hold on, Bjorn. I came to claim what is right and mine. Skogar. A pirate! Then a murderer! Who, Eric? I shall see what to do with you. My esteem for you could not be higher. You are a beautiful and extraordinary woman. Thank you. But your timing could have been better. Yeah, really. On the contrary. You have all gathered here to elect a new ruler. I am still your king. Yes. I am still your king. I want my name to be remembered for as long as the names of Ragnar Lothbrok and Bjorn Ironside are remembered. You gotta be honorable then. Ragnar didn't rape nobody. Ragnar was not like this. No one has to be afraid. We just have to learn to love each other. Right, boy? That's so messed up. Technically, he is king, though. I mean, he won fair and square, king of all Norway. And even though Bjorn was the recognized king of Kadiat, technically, Harold rules over that land, so they can't really do shit. Even though it seems like he's, you know, in his pursuit of power, he's kind of losing his vision there. Like, I want to like him, but some of the stuff he's done, I can't support that. Like, I can't support, first of all, I can't support the rape. And now, I, I just, that leaves a bad taste in my mouth, because I liked him as a character. What do you want? What? That's supposed to be his ally. That fit is amazing. Look at that outfit. I can't even deny it. I don't like her at all, but today is a very special day. She's got some crazy fits. Whoa! Holy shit! You see the way Vitzer just cracked that man's back? He snapped him in half. 
This is the big spectacle that always happens. No. Oh, I thought that was Oleg. That is true. Come on, man. I don't recognize you. Open the gates, eh? Huh? Sinigagon. The Pafton. Is Igor Oleg not... Not Igor. Oleg? Is he not concerned that Igor is not there? Where is Prince Igor? There we go. That's what I'm wondering. Why would he not be there? Come on. Go Freitas, though. Not Freitas. Katya. Basically the same, same person. So, I guess I could use them interchangeably. He is scary looking. Especially when he- What? That was the end? That did not feel like 40 minutes at all. Wow, okay. I guess I was just really into that episode. I did not realize that 40 minutes had passed. Um, okay, so I guess... Not really used to cliffhangers these past couple of uh, episodes of the season. Not really used to that, so... I kind of want to get into the next one, if, if we're being honest here. Don't know if Vitzerk, Katya, and Ivar are gonna get out of there alive. Seemed like they had a little ways to go before they actually like exited, exited the city gates. Like that was the first gate that they had to go past, right? And then they did this little pan out, and it almost looked like a little like maze. It was it was like a village, a town, whatever you want to call it. So, a city. Um, but Oleg was starting to wonder, you know, why isn't Igor here? I don't know why he wasn't wondering that in the beginning of the ceremony. Like, you know, it seems like a pretty important thing if, if you're a Christian to, you know, do all these ceremonies on Good Friday. It was a big spectacle, so I don't understand why Igor wouldn't be there. Um, but I'm, I'm more concerned with what Katya's whole role in this is. So I guess she really isn't loyal to, to Igor. She's loyal to Ivar, and she was really for that cause. I came up with this theory that Katya was, you know, pretending to be Freitas to manipulate Ivar. But I don't know, man. Is that is that just her wearing a wig, you know, a blonde wig trying to represent Freitas on Ivar's behalf? I'm not struggling to understand her motivation for wanting to go against Oleg cuz I completely understand. If I were in, in a situation like that, and I were married to that piece of shit, I, I would do the same exact thing. I'm interested to see what you guys think about that whole situation because I was confused on it from the second that Katya was introduced. Like, why does this girl look exactly like Freitas? It can't just be um, a coincidence considering what Oleg said about magic and illusions and not believing what you see. So I, I don't know if he has anything to do with it. Now that they have escaped the city, I don't think that he does have anything to do with it because he has no idea that that's happening right now and they're trying to escape. So he's going to be extremely pissed off though once he realizes they're gone if he doesn't catch them before they leave. And if he does, game over. If he catches them, I, I don't think he'll kill Ivar because I think that he needs Ivar right now. He'll use up Ivar for all that he's good for and then he'll kill Ivar. I think he's going to kill Vitzerk if they get caught, which is going to be harsh. I'm, I'm going to remain optimistic though, I'm going to remain hopeful that they actually get out of there and that this plan works and that there's some type of battle in the future. I mean, I'm expecting like very big things to go down, so that would be my prediction, but I don't know. Um, in, in Ube's whole storyline then, um, Elsa, I think her name was, died. I didn't even see her die. Like, I didn't even see her fall out of the ship. It was almost like she saw that vision of whatever was in the water, um, and and I forget what story um, Torvi was talking to her about this episode. It was something with Thor, and I have to go back and I have to rewatch it. I mean, I, I rewatch basically when I edit, but I'm pretty sure that was a visual representation of the story. If not, it looked a lot like um, God of War 4, the newest God of War that just came out. It looked like the serpent that comes up, if you guys have played that. Looks like the serpent that comes up and talks to Kratos and Atreus, which is pretty cool. Because in God of War 4, it's a lot of the uh, Nordic, you know, um, lore, which is pretty cool. Nordic, is Nordic the right word? Norwegian lore? Nordic lore, like all of those gods and stuff like that. 
really cool stuff. I, I really want to do more research on that mythology because, if anything, watching this show and watching The Last Kingdom as well has gotten me so into that and that kind of um, mythology and just their culture, not just mythology, not just that um, aspect of it, but just the culture in general. Very interesting to me. Uh, I, I wonder what traditions have stuck from um, the time period that is depicted in the show to now. Like, what is accurate about some of these depictions, the rituals that have gone down. Because also, even with um, Ingrid and what she was doing this episode, I know there have been more wild depictions of, of rituals and blood and, you know, the white paint that they use. But I'm really curious because I never really actually researched it, and maybe I will in my own time. But, um... Just the rituals that are done are fascinating to me and what everything represents and just everything about that culture. Just really interesting. So speaking of that and what Ingrid did, I guess it was some type of ritual that she was doing. I, she, I, I assume she was hoping for success and, and she wanted to be queen. But then look what that what happened. The next day, Harold comes along and is like, hey. I'm the king, and I guess by virtue of his child potentially being an Ingrid, she could be the queen. So, don't really know what's going to happen. I'm going to get into the next episode. So yeah, I guess those are all my thoughts. As always, thank you guys for watching. Check out my other reactions if you have not already, and I will see you guys for episode 14. Alright, bye guys.